hi guys and happy new year welcome back again to my kitchen and to my channel this recipe is going to be a well requested recipe I have a similar one just like this up but see the already me I was showing all me bake my beef in my bake bag pot roast beef in my bake bag all this thing are going nice and juicy and turn up loud. So if you don't want to see all me, I'm going to turn up this sitting in my kitchen. Come on and ride my wagon with me. Now. Bacon. Here comes our old boy Jamaican. guys let's talk about our beef right here I have about four to five pounds of beef right here and it's boneless and the thing is nice and fresh okay make sure you check your date when you're buying beef all right so that is what I'm going to use it's not there's not too much fat on it just that right there and I'm gonna keep that fat on there because I want it to help to make that meat have a whole of flavor all right if you want you can cut it off your choice but we gonna keep on mind for my beef now let's talk about the other ingredients we're going to use i'm going to use um my apple cider vinegar and guys i'm going to put the all the ingredients and everything in down below in the description bar so don't worry about that all right also you're going to need some browning i have a recipe to show you how i made browning from scratch but if you don't want to go through all of that just go ahead and buy yourself a bottle now guys this combo seasoning is so delicious Ultraious make this one this combo seasoning when you use it you don't have to use no other season that's how much credit make it a season and the season that turn up load I'm gonna use it in a me beef today now let's talk about the vegetables right here I have some carrots two large chopped carrot two stalks of scallion one hot pepper I mean, I like pepper, you know, but they will put it in there for the pepper head people. Then. Now, I'm going to have some sweet pepper, right? So, red pepper, I'm going to have green pepper. Two tablespoons of tomato paste or ketchup you could use. I'm going to also add some fermented seeds to that. I'm going to add a tablespoon of brown sugar, some dried thyme, if you have fresh thyme, use it. Also, half a teaspoon of salt one teaspoon of garlic and this one right here is a teaspoon of my combo seasoning now if you don't have the combo seasoning guys use a seasoned salt any one of your choice now this is a trick I'm going to be using my bait bag for this recipe okay so you're going to need a bait bag for sure so come on and let's twine all of this thing up together okay guys we're moving on to our first step all right now the meat has been washed and cleaned with vinegar and lemon juice now on the meat right now i have one tablespoon of sugar sugar the garlic the combo seasoning and the salt and the pimento seed is already on here okay i'm also going to add some dry thyme right if you have fresh thyme you use that then i'm going to add a little bit of apple cider vinegar on it and I'm also gonna add a little bit of browning sauce now if you have browning sauce in the bottle use it if you want to make it from scratch you use it I'm gonna add some tomato paste to that if you don't have tomato paste you have ketchup you use that okay now guys I'm going to go ahead and work this in just like that okay and the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and put all my vegetables in here as well just work it in like this and so now guys what I'm going to do here I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up you could do this overnight you could do this the day after you're cooking but you just want to make sure that you let it sit for about a half an hour make sure someone now cook with, cook with clean hands you know clean hands because you know when people sick people belly turn up loud and all of them things that people are chatting on them come on the house come eat food and the belly are hurt them and all of that so make sure say and then clean i'm going to put that 
away and I'm going to come back with it about an hour and we're going to get this in the in the big bag. As you can see, the meat is ready, nicely seasoned. You're going to go ahead and grab your bake bag. Right? And that is what your bake bag looks like. You open up your bake bag and you want to go ahead and put your meat in first, just like that. And then you put all the vegetables around it. Make sure your bag is nice and tight and you make a knot. So that is what it's supposed to look like when you complete this step. Okay? Now when it's like this, you know all the flavors are locked in. So you go ahead and you put it in your fridge and make it sit. If you're doing it overnight, it's even perfect. Just go ahead and let it sit in your refrigerator and then we'll get ready for baking. Alright, so I will see you back when I get ready to set up this thing for the oven. See you back. Okay guys, I'm moving on to my next step. Here I have my baking container. Right, so you want to make sure you have that. You go ahead and you put your meat inside of the baking container. Just like that. Okay. I like it when I turn the end of the bag, just turn it like that and turn it down this way. So that way I don't burn the end of the bag. So I do it like that. The next thing I do, I get my water and I have about two cups of water in here. And I'm just going to pour it out inside of the baking container. Now you want to go ahead, make sure your oven is already on guys, turn on your oven. Your oven should be on 375 and this is going to take about an hour and 10 minutes to bake, okay? Nothing over an hour and 10 minutes. Make sure you watch this thing. You have to add more water. If the water is dried out from your container, you add more water to it. Do not cover it up, just leave it open just like this one hour to one hour and ten minutes and you should have perfect baked beef ready so I'll see you back in an hour and ten minutes okay guys now my beef is all done and it was baked for exactly an hour and ten minutes now the first thing you want to go ahead and do is drain the water off from the container that you bake the beef in so that is what your meat should look like. I'm going to go ahead and put this on a plate and then I'm going to let you guys see what it should look like when you get ready to serve it on the table. So you want to go ahead and let's get your meat and put it on your plate like that. And then you put your vegetables. Then I'm just going to go ahead and put my Jamaican pepper on top. Then you just go ahead and put your gravy on top of that. Just like that. With the remaining of the gravy, you could put it in a separate container. So anybody will need gravy can just go ahead and put extra gravy on them. Food. Your oven baked beef in a big bag. Nice, moist and juicy. Now guys, I'm going to even make this better for you. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to slice into this so you can see what the inside looks like as well. Okay guys, so that is what your beef looks like on the inside. You see how nice and juicy that beef is? Perfect. That is some good beef right there. Right there. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to like share thumbs up subscribe let me know what you like to see me cooking next in my kitchen and as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy